free by Golden State. The bench. I know they're going to try to keep Livingston. They're going to try to keep Barbosa. Um, Azili's gone. Bogut's gone. Oh, now, Azili's already gone. Azili's, well, they're not going to resign him. I think they made okay. that clear once they, you know, get the money to Durant. Yeah, yeah. Harrison Barnes signed a new contract with the Mavericks. So, um, I'm, I'm sure they're like, hey, Let's be very clear. Go get your money. Um, Kevin Durant plays small four. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that Harrison no, no. Barnes is a, no, is a distant me memory. No, don't Harrison me Barnes is a distant, I mean, a distant memory. But, but if Harrison Barnes was on the roster with Durant, you could have some offense come off the bench. Well, they but they, that's not a that's not the problem. Like, the well, no, bench, I know it's not the yeah. problem, but I'm just saying that in a perfect world, if you had Barnes and Durant on the team, you can get some offense to come See, off yeah, the bench. Yeah, but I don't, from I don't Barnes. That's not a concern for me because Harrison. I mean, because their bench right now, as constructed, have had Sean Livingston can play can start at point guard in some of these other teams. Mm-hmm. Um, Barbosa can sneak. Onto a he can sneak know, on the Spurs, but any starting else? No, he can start. He can sneak on some teams. Uh, I don't know about that. Dog Larry Hughes played the back end of his Hughes. career <laughs> and made a um, and made some teams that he probably shouldn't 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 <laughs> be making. I think he could make the Phoenix Suns. Le- Leandro Barbosa at this point, I think he could start at shooting. He golfing. played for them before, right? I'm, no, my point is, is that. The way their team looks right now, mm-hmm. he can start for the Phoenix Suns right now, but he probably wouldn't play as well because of the system. Well, the the point is is that he has the talent. He's talented enough. Not I'm not talking about schemes and would it really work, but just based on talent and the shooting guard, the shooting guard scene around the uh, the NBA, mm-hmm. there are places he could go and play. No, sure, no. I, I, the I, New Orleans, the New Orleans Pelicans. Who's that shooting guard? Um, it was Eric Gordon. I think he's a free he agent. He went, yeah. Now. Eric Gordon, uh, I believe, signed with another team. Oh, he did? Yeah, I believe. Oh, okay. Okay. I know the Knicks was trying to get him. Uh, speaking of which, I wanted to react to what the Knicks did um, last week. But since we didn't get on last week, uh, I, I figured I'd kind of react to some of the moves they made. So, the trade for Derrick Rose. Um, initially, I was on the fence about it. And then I thought about it this way. Well, look at what you gave up. You gave up Robin Lopez, who was a decent five center, um, played pretty decent down the stretch for the Knicks, but he had some money on his contract and he had a few years left on the contract. So you basically give the Bulls his years. Mm -hmm. Then you trade Jose Calderon, which I said, if you don't remember, they can't start the season with called the room as yeah. he's starting point guard. Yeah. So bam, right out the door, that that's a plus right there. I didn't I hate the fact that they put Jerry and Grant in there because you you still got a, a young point guard, which you traded for in the draft by the way. Right. Four year guy out of college. I thought he had some upside. I know he didn't play well down the stretch in the season, but that was a guy I didn't want to give up. But looking at Derrick Rose's contract, twenty one million dollars left on the deal, one year left. I'm good with it, man. He played 66 games for the Bulls last season, which should be kind of a signal to say, okay, he's he's slowly but surely wait, working his way back into trying to play a full season. Um, we know about the injury history. Um, we know about the spring, the ACLs from back in the day. Look, it's just one year. And if it worked out, then we'll cross the bridge when we get there in terms of contract negotiations. But if it don't work out, okay, see ya. We don't have to, sign, you know, we don't have to resign you to a contract. So, I, I, I like the Rose deal from that standpoint. Joakim Noah, I think it's. Let 17. me ask you a question about Derrick Rose before you get to Joakim Noah. Yeah, what's up? I'm looking at his stat: sixteen game, sixteen points a game. Mm-hmm. About what's he averaging on assists? About five, four point seven. Okay. And um, about four rebounds a game. Right. Since the turnover ratio is about, you know, a little a little under two, a little under two. Right. What concerns me about Derrick Rose, five assists a game, and I'm, I, and I'm giving him I'm being lenient because 4.7. Right. You know. Mm-hmm. Five assists a game. What... 
what makes you feel like because what the Knicks need is a point guard. Sure. They need a point guard. They need somebody that's that that's going to run the offense. I mean, if you yep. if if they give you points, cool. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I think in what I've seen from Jeff Hornick's sex system and from what I think I know about the triangle offense, right. point guard isn't necessarily required to score points. Um, 16, 16 points a game is – he's good there. Right, right. You, you, um, that's, that's, that's pretty good considering sure. the offense. But that assist, man, he's going to have to double that. I agree with you. He's going to have to double that. I, I agree with you. Would you would you say he's a better point guard than Jose Calderon at this point? Just pure point guard. Just based on what you, based on what we've I, seen. I, based on what I've seen from the Knicks, I I, I I be honest with you, I don't think that's fair. Cause the and, Jose Calderon that I saw in Dallas the year before mm-hmm. was not the Jose Calderon I saw in New York. Exactly. Um. <laughs> so that that's so I. <laughs> Exactly. I truly believe that was more about system than it was about um, player. Sure. I think it was more about sure. the Knicks than it was about Jose Calderon. And, and and also, it's more about both. I mean, let's face it. Derrick Rose, despite the injury history, is a better point guard than Jose Calderon. Um, Derrick Rose I think he's a better play, player. Uh, Derrick Rose can play better defense than Jose Calderon can. Um, um, based on based on history, we, based on history, yeah, Wait, based on what we saw last year, based on not just last year, but based on history. Well, but, Jose but you, Calderon but you gotta is put, you, terrible. You got well, yeah, he is bad. He's, but you definitely <laughs> got to consider the fact that Derrick Rose's injuries. Um, I, I, I get has that. Definitely, I, I, uh, I, I get that. But at the end of the day, it's an upgrade at the point guard position. Yeah, no, nah, I can't disagree with you there. Um, Joe, Joe King Noah, though, again, was it $17.5 million? I think he signed a two-year, three-year contract, something like that. I he signed a four. Four-year contract? Is it four? I okay. It was four. Yeah. Okay, I think you're right. I think it's four. I don't love the move. I actually like the move. I like it for this reason. I talked to you briefly about it yesterday. I like the fact that he's from New York. His dad plays tennis there in the area. Um... He's the guy, he's like that emotional leader that, like the Draymond we kind of talked about yeah. in the previous segment, without the offense, but yeah. he's mm-hmm. the guy that's going to give you that emotion, that motor, that like, yo, when I step on the floor, we gonna we going to turn up. Yeah. Like, he, he's no, going to give you that. He's going to turn up. He, yeah, he's going to give you that. He's going he's gonna to bring energy to the garden. He's going to bring energy to the teammates. He's going to bring energy to the fan base, to the entire organization. I, that That's one of the reasons why I like this move now. Like with Rose, same kind of thing. The injury history, especially last year. I think he only played like 20 games last year. Who was that? Uh, Joakim Noah. Joakim Noah played 29 games. Yeah, so that's a, that's a bit of a concern for me, but... I like the move from the standpoint that they got somebody that can play some tough defense, can get in your face, isn't scared of anything. And I think if they're going to run this triangle also, if they're going to mix the Hornacek offense with the triangle. Which I really hope they don't, by the way. I hope, really hope they get rid of the triangle. and burn like, it. Com- like completely? Yeah. Well, if it, if it works, meaning Hornacek system, if it works, then yeah, scrap it. Um, I from, hate the try. I hate the triangle. From what I hear, from what I hear, anyway, Noah's the type of center that can work in the, in the triangle mm-hmm. because he's a good passer mm-hmm. out of the paint, right. which is which is pretty good, which right. is what we need. They made some other moves. They got Brandon Jennings to back up Derrick Rose on a one year deal. I kind of like that in case yeah, something Brandon, happens to Derrick Rose. Brandon Jennings is cool. Uh, the Courtney Lee signing, and we really didn't need a score. At the two guard spot, we just needed somebody just just solid that could play defense, that can, you know, kind of play two ways a little bit. I think, think so. Cor- I you think, don't think you- Courtney Lee. No, you don't think you needed scoring at the shooting guard at the two spot. Yeah. Well, Porzingis, we gotta we gotta continue to develop Porzingis at the four spot. Yeah, but you see- know, Melo's gonna get his buckets playing small forward, and then Derrick Rose on some nights 
can put up a good 25, 30 points. I think the Knicks needed a two-guard to score. Um, I think... I don't know where, um, and and I don't I don't know how many how many points did Porzingis average last year? Do you uh, know? I don't know off the top of my head. Okay, my um, average maybe fourteen points. I'm, yeah, that, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking somewhere around the fifteen point mark. Right. Um, is Carmel Anthony a twenty five a point twenty five point a night guy now in this point in his career? Do it's starting think? to decline. If it right. ha- if it hasn't it's, already, right. it's, it's, it's starting I'm thinking to thinking it's getting more down, go down along, a bit. Yeah. Uh, the, more along the 20, 18 to twenty, right? right? Right. So it's like okay, eighteen to twenty, you're getting fifteen right now for Pazingas. I mean, you in a in a perfect world, and I would world, expect in a, like right, in a, in a perfect, perfect world, world you would like up that to like twenty, to right? Yeah. You would like that to get to twenty. Yeah. It's not that I don't believe Derrick Rose can score. Mm-hmm. I just believe that in the, if it's triangle, I believe his points. If he's he was averaging sixteen, yep. that's going to probably that's like about fifteen. Like it needs to be right there. So right. I think you need another fifteen from a Courtney Lee, and a Courtney Lee is actually kind of perfect for that situation. He'll, right. I think he's about. Yeah, I think Courtney Lee can. He's about a 15. fifteen point. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like at his, I think at his highest peak. At his ceiling, I think he's about a fifteen right, point guy. Right. So, I mean, I I think that fifteen points, because um, you're not going to get it. I don't think you're going to get a twenty five point guy out of New York Knicks this year. Mm, probably, probably not. And like I said, I think if if you can get sixty plus games out of Rose Noah, and maybe get a good sixty five out of Melo. And then Porzingis, as a young kid, plays all 82 games, which I know that's a perfect world. But yeah. if, you, if you can get all that, just from those three guys in particular, this is a playoff team. I mean, and, 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 I, and I get the other teams in the East made moves and stuff, but you have to think that it's, it's, if it's not playoffs, it's a failure at this point. Um, no, nah, I, I, I don't, I don't want to say that because here's the thing. Here's the criticism of the Knicks right now for me. In my personal opinion, Joe Kim, Neal, Joe Kim Noah is steps away from being just as washed as Anderson Vergeau. I agree with that. I mean, like, like steps away from. I agree that. with that. Derrick Rose. The injury history makes him. It's an, It's be, enough to be old. concerned. It's enough yeah. for him to be concerned. It's enough for you to be concerned about. Mm-hmm. Uh, Carmelo Anthony. Yeah. Uh, it's it's enough for you to be concerned about. The the true hope is is that those guys are decoy enough mm-hmm. for Porzingis to really get to up, excel to really get yep. up there in the twenty twenty five point right, stratosphere. Right. The veteran, I guess, the veteran. You hope the veteran leadership, presence, somehow. the knowledge. Yeah. Uh, you do have to guard these guys. Yes. Um, these aren't guys where you could just say, "All right, Key and Porzingis," and right, right. You know, whatever. Oh yeah. So I mean, you definitely got that. And then the other question is: Is what their bench look like? Um, uh, Langston Galloway at the two spot off the bench. Um, he can give you something good. Like I said, Brandon Jennings yeah, on a one year guard. deal. Mm-hmm. I think I think that's a good backup situation to have. And then you got some other guys, um, you know, some other bigs. I think Kylo Quinn is still on there, but yeah, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't even, know. Right? It's like okay, you, you got don't, you don't know about the you, you don't, don't you don't know about the bench person, right? Se. And it's that and that's the issue. See, you don't know about the bench. Um, you don't know about the coach. Let's be very clear. I mm-hmm. mean, potential, yeah. Got you. This is not like the this is not like the the Pistons of last year where you know you don't really know who's doing what, but you know Stan Van Gundy coaching the team, and, yep. and that's what you kind of credit right. or credit success to. Right. This isn't that that kind of team. You got uh, a a bunch of old people starting mm-hmm. outside of Przingis, and then you don't have a bench. Right. So right. minutes might not be. I mean, minutes. Should, Probably won't be super high. He's, they're going to have to. Time management is going to be key to True making that. sure True. Rose don't get a whole bunch of minutes. Carmelo, I mean, I think he's done. They've done, but this is the new coach, right? Carmelo can't get a whole, shouldn't be getting a whole bunch of minutes. Like you, you really gotta. These young guys really gotta play ball, right? Right. They really gotta play. Yeah, yeah. You nah, know what I'm saying? No, nah, I feel you. I feel you on that. Yeah, that bench got to get better. Um like I said, I, I I can't make out the rest of the roster. Um, I know they're still trying to make little moves here and there, yeah. 
but um, 